Welcome back to Can't Stop Art. I'm your host, Forty. So guess what? Today, guys, I'm doing something different. Instead of doing a live show, which I don't really have too many people tuning in for the live show, so I thought, you know what? Until that starts happening, let's start just uh, putting out videos that are pre-recorded. This way, they don't have to be 30, 40 minutes long. You don't have to listen to me babble all the time, etc. In this particular scene, I've decided I'm gonna do something landscape-ish with a foreground subject, maybe some clouds. And what I did first is I taped the paper to my table. After doing so, I went ahead and wet the paper, right? Then I created a gradient, if you will, from a, a light yellow to an orangish yellow to a pink in the sky, right? I wanted that sky to be funky. Ice cream funkadelic sorbet in your face. <laughs> Anyways, gosh, where's my sense of humor today? I, it needs some work. I used a paper towel to dab out while it's still wet up at the top, removing some areas where I figured I'd paint in the clouds. I didn't uh, sketch a bin because I figured let's make this really organic. I took a piece of transparent film, dipped it in some white gouache, and uh, just pressed as I would have done with acrylic to get, make some organic shapes, right? Once I did that, I started laying some other colors on the ground, some greens, some browns, and the idea here wasn't to, to make this necessarily in your face, so I said, you know what, let's grab a paper towel, and while it's wet, blot it out, right? Because I just want it light in the background. And then I said, you know what, that took a little something away, so I did a yellow wash on top of it, and that kind of brought it all back together, right? Next, I said, you know, these clouds are going to need layers. We're going to have to come back in here and put many layers of color, etc. You can see in the video me with the, the dryer, right? I've noticed if you wait for it to dry without the without a heat gun or a hair dryer or whatever, I think it comes out a little bit better. But again, this painting is not necessarily for sale. I just did it for the video. So I figured, hey, no big deal. Grab that hair dryer because I'm impatient, yo. <laughs> So here we are layering in new colors. We put some yellows in there, some grays, some blue grays, a little bit of uh, light, uh, well, light black is gray, right? <laughs> We're adding some whites, right? And I think I dabbed a little bit of orange in there uh, for highlights on the bottom of the clouds. But we're gonna go through many layers within the clouds and that's cool. Real quick, before we continue, I wanna give a shout out to my buddy Dan Mackay. Thanks a lot for providing the music that's playing in the background. You can check the description for a link to the name of the track and where you can pick that track up. Go check it out. Thanks a lot, Dan. All right, so back to the painting. Here I am painting some beautiful birds and I thought, why not? It's an amazing sorbet kind of day. Now I want ice cream. <laughs> Anyways, next I said, you know, the foreground subject is going to be a girl, a lady carrying an umbrella. It's not raining, but it's hot. And you know what? She's got those gloves on. Maybe this is fall. I know some of you are looking forward to fall. Myself, not particularly because I love the summer. But hey, anyways, I grabbed some black grout. Gra <laughs> gauche. There we go. I can say it correctly. I swear I can. <laughs> I, I grabbed some black ga gauche and I painted the, the girl as a silhouette. And the idea was that she really sticks apart from the background. And so we're coming in here. She's got her hand off to the side like she doesn't give a what. Anyway, she's got this cute little dress on. We didn't have room to draw her, her shoes in, but that's okay. After we paint her in, taking her steps, going down the street, down the prairie, I'm not exactly sure. I signed my name thinking, hmm, we're getting close, right? It's missing something. So I started thinking, you know what? Let's go back there in the clouds. Let's put a couple more layers of color. Then after putting a couple more layers of color, let's dab it with that transparent film and hit it with that white gouache again to brighten up the clouds, bring them again, make them pop a little more, etc. At this point, I'm like, hmm, something else is missing, right? But what is it? We need more depth. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna take some brown and or raw sienna. I'm gonna paint in some structures in the background. They could be buildings. It could have something to do with something, uh, a farm. I don't know, it could be a mall. But hey, it added depth and I think that's what was missing. I went ahead and removed the tape. I hope you guys like this video. Please leave comments in the comments. Till next time, I'm out.